This is another tip for parallel resistors to help you out in a multi-choice exam. Previously, we looked at where we had resistors in parallel. In this case, we've got three. If they were all the same value, which they aren't here, we'd find a third of one of those. So we can't use that trick. We've got product over sum. When we had two resistors connected in parallel, we could use that. We've got three. There's something to do with a formula of one over RT, but your mind's gone blank in the exam. Is there another way out of it? The total resistance in any parallel circuit is always less than the smallest resistor. Our smallest resistor is 25 ohms. We look at the question and the possible answers. We've got 250 ohms, 100 ohms, 25 ohms, and only one answer is less than 25. Therefore, 16.67 ohms is the correct answer in a multi-choice exam. It may get you out of trouble, if you can't remember your formulas. If you've got two answers that are less than 25, well, you've got a 50-50. Unfortunately, in a multi-choice exam, there's no phone a friend.